it is no secret that I am a large Emma Chamberlain fan. As a matter of fact, we are a large Emma Chamberlain fandom household. It is a, a ritual in this home to watch an Emma Chamberlain video together. She's great. She is hysterical and I've been watching her, Dan and I have been watching her for years. And a recent like photo shoot spread campaign that was done with Emma, I just I lost my chill. They were so beautiful. She did these photos. I don't know what it's for. She did photos like in this yellow sweater and photos in a green blazer. And they were so good. The photos were so cool. And I have been itching to recreate the look. So that's what I'm gonna try and do here today in good old Emma Chamberlain fashion. That is the plan for today's video. I even got my nails done. Very Emma Chamberlain-esque. I had been rocking the, the square for so long and I decided to switch it up and get this pointy little bright moment. I didn't get the pink that she had in the shoot, but love me an orangey fire engine red. So to start off our little Emma Chamberlain transformation, we're gonna start with the Chamberlain coffee. Got the little mug and everything. It came in a little tote bag set, so cute. Okay, so now that we have our coffee, we're gonna make our way upstairs and let the transformation commence. Is it gonna be too hot if I sip it? Mmm. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, friends, we're gonna begin our journey here in the bathroom. So when the shots from the shoot were first posted, she was wearing this like fabulous, insane, shiny green blazer and none of like the makeup artists, the stylist, the hair, actually no, I think Laura Polko did the hair and I think she actually tagged some things. But no one else tagged what anything was. Sometimes you can like creep the comments and sometimes makeup artists and whatnot will respond and say what they did. Nothing. I messaged the stylist and the makeup artist and I was like, please tell me where this blazer is from and what makeup you put on her face. I must know, I have to recreate this look. Naturally, none of no, no one answered and that's totally fair because I'm bad at responding to DMs too, I get it. So Dan and I ended up going on like a thrift store creep. I scoured the internet, couldn't find any green blazer that was like bright or shiny or anything. Couldn't find anything. No dice on the green blazer front. But then some more photos from the campaign were posted where she was in a completely different outfit and she was in a yellow knit sweater. I you not guys that exact same day on the Zara website this yellow sweater appeared and obviously it's not exactly the same but it has a similar feel to the yellow sweater that she was wearing in a shoot so voila we got a yellow sweater but then ah oh, my dearest darling friend Ellie Mae of Ellie Mae Studios made this possible i was telling her about how i was going to film this video and i couldn't find a green blazer and she was like yo she had a sample from a collection that they did a few years ago apparently the blazer never made its way into its final form so this is just a lone standing sample but look at this green blazer it's not the shiny material that the blazer was in the shoot but it is that perfect rich very like forest green oh my god and it literally has the little sample tag on there ellie may thank you so much for making this look possible look at even the gold buttons it's so beautiful and perfect so now i'm i'm gonna do both i'm gonna try and take some pics in both we got the green blazer and the yellow sweater guys so now for the hair please excuse this Hot light lighting. In the green blazer look, she's rocking these like really beautiful, just luscious, voluminous waves, just letting it flow freely. And then in the yellow sweater look, it seems to be the same hair and makeup, but she's just got these really great little pins, pinning the hair to the side. I think I found the perfect dupes for these little pins, so we'll give it a try. And this is the yellow sweater look. Gorgeous does she look? I'm just so excited to play. So first we're gonna try doing the hair. I put the largest barrel on my little T3 iron here and let's create some luscious bouncy waves or curls, whatever you wanna call it. It looks like in the bottom half of the hair, it's like just the bottoms. Like it's just perfect little ringlets. I don't know if they use like, hey Siri. What are the rolly Velcro things that you put in your hair to make them curly? Okay, I found this on the web for what are the Raleigh Velcro things that you put in your hair rollers. Thanks Siri, you're the best. Why thanks? 
No, thank you. Okay, well, anyway. <laughs> so hair rollers, it could have been a hair roller moment. I am not a hair expert. I have no idea, but all I do know is that I have a thick curling iron and we can attempt to create something similar. So my hair has set, I'm just running my fingers through it. And yeah, we just are left with this lovely little bouncy wave. So before we head into the studio to do makeup, I just wanted to say a big thank you to Misoma London for sponsoring this video. You guys know I'm a lover of Misoma jewelry. I'm a lover of all things gold. And in the styling of this Emma Chamberlain look today, I'm gonna to be using some of my favorite Misoma London pieces, which I have put here on this lovely little tray. And let you know that as of today, Monday, November 23rd, the Misoma Cyber Week is happening. She is started. Run, do not walk. It is the only sale of the year where the entire Masoma website is 25% off. So you can shop any of my favorite pieces, any pieces that you love, any pieces that you've been dying to get your hands on at 25% off. And another exciting piece is that for Cyber Week, they have actually partnered with Tree Sisters. And so for every order made from now until November 30th, one tree will be planted per order, which is an incredible initiative that they are doing. So I'll walk you through the pieces once we style the look, but just wanted to say thank you to Masoma and all the links that you need to know will be linked in the description box down below where you can shop my favorite pieces and shop the entire Masoma site at 25% off. Amazing! So let's grab our jewels, let's grab our coffee, let's grab our tops, and let's head to the makeup. Don't worry, I didn't forget you. And we were going to sit and use the big camera, but I feel like to honor the true spirit of Emma Chamberlain, we're just gonna continue this on the vlog camera, which honestly I prefer because it doesn't highlight my pores so deeply. So these are the pins that I picked up. I got them from Chloe Beauty at Shoppers, and I think that they look almost identical to the ones that Emma Chamberlain is wearing. We're not gonna worry too much about how that looks just yet, which is not cute, not cute, oh boy. This is why I'm not a pin gal. Okay, so maybe not a dupe. They really stick really high off the head there. I feel like the ones she was wearing is like flush to the skin. We tried, we'll, we'll get there eventually, but it's gonna pin our hair back while we do the makeup. So here's a lovely little zoom in of the makeup here. Very light, simple makeup. I don't think this is gonna take us long at all. It's really bronzy, a lot of brows. She's got amazing brows. And then it's just one giant swoop of green, a little bit of mascara, maybe a tiny bit of brown on the lower lashes, and then just a really nice light, pinky peachy nude lip. Stunning. Oh, she's making me really wanna go back blonde, let me tell you. I'm just gonna pop the look right front and center and let's get started. My skin is very dry right now. I'm gonna take some Embrylisse. Let's hydrate the skin. She's got beautiful, beautiful, glowing, hydrated skin in this photo. I'm also gonna take a little wash of the Victoria Beckham Golden Priming Moisturizer just cause she's really got a lovely, lovely tanned glow here and I really wanna emphasize that on the skin, so I'm just gonna use a priming product that has a little wash of that warmth in it. And then for skin, I'm gonna dip into my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter foundation. I have quite a lot of active spots right now and like large, large red patches on my cheeks, on my forehead, so I just want a foundation that's gonna be a bit more covering for that. And I'm just gonna use my hands press this in. Really am um, assisting on the coverage front as well. I'm just gonna take a brush and pat that in. And then for concealer, I'm gonna take some of my Clinique concealer and just brighten up under my eyes a little bit. Just put it directly on my zits a little. Oh God, there's one there too. Where'd that come from? And I'm just pressing that into the skin. Okay, now we are going to be taking some photos, so I definitely don't wanna be super shiny and greasy looking in a T-zone, so I'm gonna take some powder. This is the Armani Beauty Luminous Silk Powder, and I'm going to press that in into the center of my face or any areas that I don't want to have any excess shine, which is just like right here underneath my eyes and just like around my mouth, this area. I don't want any of that to be Shining, shimmery, or splendid. Tell me, Emma, how did you get so bronzy in this pic? And now speaking of bronzer, let's put on 12 pounds of bronzer. This is my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in the shade two, medium. And I'm just gonna go 
Hand family with bronzer. We're going to bronze everywhere, my good people. And when we remove this shirt and don the blazer, we'll bronze the chest aisles as well. And just because there is definitely a little hint of brown underneath her eyes, I am just gonna take that bronzer now and put it on the lower lash line. It'll help to just set in that concealer and give us that kind of brownie vibe that we're looking for. I think there's a little bit of uh, liner on the waterline as well. We'll just try and do a little light, light liner moment there and just a little bit of this. We'll keep this out though, because we might revisit that, but I actually think that this bronzer it's kind of a really good shade for that there. For blush, there's hardly any hint of a blush, so I think use whatever kind of nude blush goes with your skin. I'm gonna take the Becca Wild Honey, loving this blush right now so much. And I'm gonna try and just really lift my cheeks with that. So I'm not taking it as low as I took the bronzer, I'm just going along the top. We might have gone heavy on the pink, but that's okay, it usually fizzles out in photos anyway, so we're forgiven. And then there isn't really any intense highlight. She also doesn't have any highlight like on her inner corners of the eyes or anything. Like it just seems to be a very clear, naturally youthful base. So with that being said, let's move on to the brows. I'm gonna take my little hair wax here and lick the brows up. And her brows are quite a round shape. So I'm gonna try, try, attempt to kind of duplicate that a little bit. Like just make them a little bit more like whoop whoop. Like usually when I do my brows, I go quite straight across with my feathering, but I'm gonna try to emphasize the round shape. What is happening here? My brows are looking like they're gonna take flight on this side. <laughs> so now for the eyes, for this lovely green eyeshadow, I went on a total treasure hunt. The perfect foresty green to match this was nowhere to be found. I could not find it. I was swatching, rolling, trying to mix some things together. I ended up finding one in the end. I had to mix three different products together, okay? But Miss K. Dinahan, if you could just holler at us and let us know what you use, that would be fantastic. <laughs> what I've come up with and what we're going to attempt to create this lovely, creamy looking, glittery shadow, I pulled out this old Makeup Forever Flash Palette, Harmony Flash Palette, this old thing. I've had this forever and I've never used it. I'm gonna try to use this green as a base and then I picked up two MAC eyeshadows. These two here, this is Humid and this is Joy de Glitz. Yeah, that one. And then I took the Makeup by Mario Master Metal Manipulator, the little juicy juice, and the little thing from the eyeshadow palette that Makeup by Mario came out with and I mixed those two eyeshadows together and that on top of this, when it was swatched on my hand, looked to be almost exactly the shade. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let's just go in. I'm gonna take the Makeup Forever green shadow and try to map it out. It just looks like it's rounded above her crease. And it's just like a little bent flick. That might've been too high, but I will. We'll go with it. It's a little bent flick to meet the tip of the brow. I feel like I'm turning myself into the Grinch. <laughs> I'm gonna take one of those little pokey Q-tips and just try to straighten that out before it dries. Just like softening the edges a little bit. I feel like that was really rickety. <laughs> I feel like that shape is, is good. It's a little bit higher, but the idea is there. And that's what counts, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna take my little concoction here with a little flat shader brush. And I'm gonna try dipping that on top. My little concoction is flaking apart a little bit. I think I'm just gonna have to go in with a little layer of each of the shadows on top just to set in all of this creaminess, you know? So I'm gonna take a little layer of humid, just a deeper green. It's just like a lot darker, but this is helping to set in that Makeup Forever base for sure. So putting that on top, and then I'm gonna take a layer of the Dazzle Shadow. Oh my God, am I gonna be able to make this the same on the other side? <laughs> I should have been doing it simultaneously. Flaking off a bit, I actually think I, it's best applied with my finger because the shading brush, yeah, oh my God, so much better. It's kind of just crumbling off of the brush, so I'm just gonna try my best to Press that in. That was definitely a lot more effective. I'll just grab another Q-tip and just try and clean up that top there. Let's try and do it on the other side. <laughs> I tried my best to make them as even as I could. I really did. Cousins not sisters or sisters not twins. <laughs> 
I'm gonna take a little bit of Nude Sticks chocolate, which is just a very, very soft light brown, especially when you're putting it in the waterline. And I think that matches what she's got going on in there really nicely. Just taking a little bit of that, stabbing my eye. And then let's apply mascara. I'm gonna take my Tom Ford, badass black mascara. And this look definitely calls for a little bit of lower lash mascara. So I'm gonna take the MAC Giga Black lash and just really lightly press that along the lower lashes so then for the lips i am going to line and define them a little bit this is the makeup forever 3c lip liner and this one's like a bit more of a pink because it doesn't really look like she's wearing a lip liner or has any kind of like defined lip color so for me this one kind of blends in really perfectly with my natural lip shade so i'm just going to use that to help define my lips a little bit and then as for the lip color, I honestly thought that my Send Nudes lipstick, the shade from my Matinee de Soiree kit with Nude Sticks, my little signature there, I just thought it was the perfect lip color for this look, honestly. It's a little bit more on the beige side, so I think it complements the green really nicely. Okay, here's the green. I'm looking so, so pale in this light. But this is the finished look, you guys. This is the finished makeup. I love how it looks so much. It's so fun. How do we do? How do we do? Okay, so I'm gonna put the jewels on and put the green blazer on. And let's see how it all looks together. So this blazer is, is a little bit small for me. We might just have to hold it shut like this. How perfect does the shadow match this? Am I right? I'm just gonna have to actively try and hide my nipples from you guys. I'm gonna take a big brush and the bronzer and I'm gonna take this all the way down. The answer to everything good in life is bronzer. Okay, there we go. A much more warm sheen. Let's don the jewelry. Okay, so first for the earrings, Emma's got these beautiful big chunky hoops on. So we're the Lucy Williams. These are the gold and twine chunky hoop earrings. I have worn these so much in my videos, on my Instagram. They're such a cute hoop. And they're really easy to put on, which I love. Oh my god, that looks so good with all of this. Definitely one of my favorite pieces from Asoma and one of my most worn styles. I feel like I want to do something a little bit more layered. Emma isn't actually wearing necklaces in this particular look, but I feel like a little bit naked without it. I have to don my necklaces. I'm just so used to it now. So I'm actually going to go for this Lucy Williams pendant necklace and put this one on. And then I'm gonna wear one of my favorite pieces of all time from Masoma. This is my chain necklace from the Twisted Collection. I absolutely live in this. I wear it so much, you guys see it all the time. And then I'm gonna finish off this little stack with the Lucy Williams Gold Legion coin choker. And then I'm also wearing my gold deconstructed Axiom bracelet. Love this one. I also have the necklace, one of my favorite recent pieces that Masoma's come out with as well. And this is the finished look with all the jewelry on, you guys. This is so fun. What a fun, fun eyeshadow look. I am obsessed with it. Ellie Mae, I love this blazer, my God. And I feel like the jewels just feel very me. I love to just pile on my gold jewelry. These are some of my favorite pieces from Masoma. So definitely take advantage of the 25% off the site, you guys. All the links will be in the description box down below. Embrace the cyber week. Get yourself a discount and shop some of my favorite pieces. The other link in the description box down below. Okay, so now we're gonna try and take some photos and see if we can like match some of the poses she's done from the campaign and hopefully they turned out okay. I'm gonna do this one and then I'm also gonna put the yellow sweater on after, so. Dan, darling, hello! We gotta get Dan in here to come help us take some pics and I'll try my best to avoid showing you all my nip piles. Just don't get my sweatpants in the shot. Watch this magic change into the yellow sweater. Oh, I gotta put the clips in. This is gonna change everything. We're attempting the pics, guys. We're attempting. But I have one final little surprise up my sleeve. This is the completion of my Emma Chamberlain photo shoot recreation. My day of becoming Emma Chamberlain. We tried, <laughs> we tried to recreate some of the photos from the shoot. If we were successful, we'll, we'll put some here. And hopefully you'll be seeing some on the gram. And if not, then please enjoy this lovely moment of me playing in a wig.
right guys well that was fun i hope you enjoyed this look let me know how you think i did in the comments down below did i successfully transform myself into emma chamberlain please let me know you guys thanks so much for watching and i'll see you all very soon for a new video bye